Our next guest says inflation is poised to slow, and that means it's time to buy the dip. It's time for our two-minute drill with Jeremy Bryan, Gradient Investments Portfolio Manager. It's good to see you. So you think inflation is poised to cool. Uh, that's interesting. So are, are you suggesting that this move that we've had in the market is, is legit and can last longer than people think? Sure. Um, yeah, the, the short answer on that is what if we've seen the worst of it? What if eights goes to sevens, goes to sixes? Um, a lot of these companies have seen significant damage. I mean, the company that we're going to talk about is down 40 percent. Um, that is a massive movement. And this is not a fly by night, you know, a pandemic oriented company. This is a stabilized long term growth name that that I'd want to be a part of. And so, yeah, if we start to see decelerating inflation, a lot of mm -hmm. these names could have a sustainable rally as a result of that. Let's um, reveal the secret. I mean, at this point, we're talking about Amazon. <laughs> yeah, it's Amazon. Yeah, I mean, you know, if Amazon, if we've seen the worst of that, you know, of if eights do goes to seven, goes to sixes, then they're going to have more spending power. There's going to be more purchasing power. And guess what? Amazon's gaining market share. You know, so Amazon is going to be a beneficiary of that if we've seen the worst. If eights goes to nines, goes to ten, we might still be in some trouble here. But our best thinking is that it's actually going to decelerate. And so we'd want to be buyers of Amazon at that level. Second okay, part of that speaking, business is AWS. If we start to see yeah. slowing economy within there, that's you know they, that's an efficiency based business that could do very well as well. Another stock down forty plus percent from its highs, Adobe. Yeah, one of the best durable growth models, right? If you think about their earnings profile, you know the estimates have come down three four percent, right? And, and the stock is down forty. So it's 27 times earnings right now. So, you know, our contrarian thesis, if you will, in buying the stuff that's out of favor doesn't mean we're buying the cheap stuff. It doesn't always mean that. What it does mean is we want to buy this stuff that's out of favor that has a chance for a rebound. And again, you know, a durable growth software franchise like Adobe just seems like an opportune time. We're back to valuations that we haven't seen since 2012. If we're if we think that it can grow 15, 17, even 20 percent earnings over the next three years, this seems like to be the time to be buying. All right. We'll leave it there. Jeremy, I appreciate your time. That's Jeremy Bryan joining us there.